what we're going to do. What? We're going to make some ice cream. <laughs> Not Wait, just, let me get my hair straight. <laughs> Not just any ice cream. You know what kind of ice cream we're going to make? Buttermilk. Buttermilk ice cream. What do you think about that? I like buttermilk. Does it scare you? It don't scare me. <laughs> I like buttermilk biscuits. I like buttermilk. So you think buttermilk ice cream would be good? I think it will. I think okay. it would be something like yogurt. I probably. know some people are going, what? Buttermilk ice cream, oh. I well, think it's going to be good. We've never made it, have we? No, but I've ate it before. And it was good. It had just a little bit of tang to it, but it and sweetness, and it was good. I like tang because I can drink buttermilk. Well, some people like buttermilk, and some people can't stand it, but I think they would like buttermilk ice cream. Probably so. I'll have to try it if we like it, huh? <laughs> We're going to make it in this handy-dandy countertop ice cream maker. The Hill folks went to town on this one. <laughs> this right here is, you know, your original hand crank here. But, you know, me and Mr. Brown like homemade ice cream. But to get this thing out every time. Every time. And that's really too much ice cream for us. Not really. No. <laughs> but this is fun. This is fun for the grandkids it to is. teach them. But, you know, it takes 25 minutes to make ice cream in this thing. And just to come in and whip up some good old ice cream, and it's there, and it's handy. So I purchased this. This is a, a Cuisinart, and I purchased this on Amazon a couple years ago. And uh, it makes really good ice cream. It does a good job. Now, Amazon has a lot of different uh, countertop ice cream makers. So if you're interested in one, just go to Amazon and uh, do your research on them. But I've done my research a couple of years ago and this one got good reviews and uh, I tried it and it's been a good one now if you're interested in this one I'll put the link down below but uh, like I said there's all kinds of ice cream makers out there but this is the right size for me and Mr. Brown it makes just enough ice cream and I mean there's enough it what is the quartz in here it, there's what two quarts no, there's four quart. This is a four quart. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> why, are you, why are you looking at me at your ice cream maker? I think it's a four quart. But anyways, I'll put the link down below. But we're going to get busy and we're going to make buttermilk ice cream. If, if you're going to talk about it, show them what, how it goes. Well, you take the lid off. And this is the little stir thing. And this is your tub. Now, I'm going to tell you something about your tub. You need to put it in the freezer the day before you think you're going to make ice cream because this thing has to be froze solid through and through or it won't make ice cream. So, there have been, been a few times that we was going to have ice cream and guess what? It never got put in the freezer. Miss, I forgot to put it in the freezer. And I would get all my stuff together and make ice cream and say, you know what? Forget it. I forgot to put it in the in the freezer. Power goes out, we still have ice cream. Yeah, that's true. Just like tonight, we're getting, fortunately, we're getting a good rain. It's not all that late, and it's pitch black outside. We've had probably maybe an inch of rain, and that's unusual in August. Yeah, it is. It's been going all around us for weeks. Really getting dry on the hill, but we're so thankful we got rain tonight. Well, it was really lightning, too. Yes. That's why I had to wait around before I could make this video, because the rain was so loud on the Ted roof that you couldn't hear yourself. So, anyways, we're going to get busy making some ice cream. The first step is making a custard, but it doesn't take very long to put this together. So, we're going to get this heifer down off here and uh, plug this one in. What do you call that? Heifer. Get this heifer off. And uh, I can do that. We'll get our ingredients together. We'll make our custard, and we'll get our ice cream going. I think y'all are going to like this. Okay, we're going to start out with the custard. And in this pot, I've got three cups of heavy whipping cream. And what you want to do is you just want to bring the three cups of cream to a simmer. You don't want it to come to a hard boil. You just want it to come to a simmer. And you can tell when it's coming to a simmer by the little bubbles around the, the edge. And you can see it kind of simmering in the middle. So while that's simmering, just for a minute, we're going to come over here to this bowl. And I've got six egg yolks. And we're going to put them in this bigger bowl. 
And these are fresh eggs. So the yolks are really yellow. And we've got a cup of sugar. We're going to put the sugar in with the egg yolks. We're just going to stir that up good. Just get it all creamed together. Now usually, um, there's so many different ice cream recipes out there. And uh, there's some that you don't have to make a custard. There's, you know, it's just easy one-step ice cream. You just put it in your ice cream maker and you got ice cream about 25 minutes but to me the best ice creams are custard based I just think they're just a richer tastier ice cream but I do like the other two so I got my sugar and my eggs egg yolks mixed good there now I'm gonna come back over here make sure that my cream is still simmering and it is now what i'm going to do is i'm going to carefully take my cream and i'm going to pour enough in here to get this going you can't just take your egg mixture and put it in your hot cream or it'll curdle so you just have to kind of do a little bit at a time and stir while you're doing it to keep your eggs from curdling. And I'm going to do about a cup or so. And I'm going to keep stirring this and getting that all mixed up so that that mixture is hot through and through. And I'm going to turn my cream back on to about medium. So when you think you've got that blended up good and you think that your eggs are at a pretty good temperature. You're going to bring it back over here and you're going to pour that mixture into your cream. You need to stir and stir. Let's see if I can get as much of that sugar out as I can. This smells really good. Okay, we got that going. We're gonna, I got it on medium heat. We're gonna let this come up to a simmer, a, maybe just a low boil. And when it does, we're gonna cook it. We're gonna let it simmer for about seven minutes or however long it takes for it to thicken up, five to seven minutes. It's the thickening up. Okay, it's been uh, simmering and boiling for about seven minutes, and it's thickened up pretty good. So I'm going to turn the heat off, and I'm going to show you on the back of this spoon. I'm going to start just a little bit now. Make sure that you continually stir this custard because if you don't it will scorch and it'll scorch in a hurry so you have to stand here and, and just keep a stirring it but i want to show you on the back of this spoon when you run your finger through it and it makes a a trail through there and you see how it didn't run back together that means it's ready so i've turned the heat off and I'm going to run over here and I'm going to get my chilled buttermilk. You need to make sure that your buttermilk stays chilled, it stays cold. You don't, when that cold buttermilk hits this custard, it's going to cool it down a little bit. So you want to make sure that it's good and chilled. So I've got a cup of buttermilk. And I got the heat off. I'm going to just pour that buttermilk in here and this hot custard. Is it looking good, Mr. Brown? 
Looks like custard buttermilk. <laughs> now we're going to take, I got two tablespoons of vanilla. And I'm going to put just a, a pinch of salt in there. And that's all there is to this custard. And this is your base for your buttermilk ice cream. So, the next step now is you can either put it in an ice bath and cool it down or uh, put it in your refrigerator. Either way, it needs to cool and chill for about two hours because you don't want a warm custard going into your ice cream maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the ice bath and when I get it cooled down, we'll stick it in the refrigerator. That way it gets good and cold. So when we come back, we'll start churning our ice cream. I want to show y'all that uh, I got my custard sitting here in the ice bath. This is how I do it. And this will cool it down to a cool enough temperature that I can stick it in the refrigerator and chill it good for about two hours. Now I can tell you another way that, uh, you know, if you know you're going to be making buttermilk ice cream, say tomorrow, you can go ahead and make your custard and not stick it in the refrigerator and it will be good and chilled by tomorrow. But that's just up to you. But this is how I'm going to do it tonight. Get it to a certain temperature, cool down, then stick it in the refrigerator and chill it for two hours. And then we're going to make some ice cream. Okay, my custard has cooled down. And it's just been about, about five minutes. And with this water bath, it's really cooled down pretty quick. So what I'm going to do, since it's custard, is I'm going to take a piece of plastic wrap. And... Uh, I'm going to put it down on top of this to keep it from getting that uh, skin on the top. And then I'm going to take this out of the water bath and I'm going to stick it in the fridge for two hours. Then we'll be back. But while it's chilling in the refrigerator, I thought we'd make some hot fudge sauce. So when we come back, we'll get started. Okay, let's make some fudge sauce. All you're going to need is a half a stick of butter. You need 12 ounces of evaporated milk. You need about a cup of uh, this is milk chocolate chips. Oops. I'm going to stir that down just a little bit. And then all you need is uh, two cups of powdered sugar, confectioner sugar. You can put all your ingredients together. And you want to get it mixed up good. And you're going to bring this to a boil. And you're going to boil it for about eight minutes. And then you're going to take it off the heat. And this is really good fudge sauce. And you'll be able to uh, put this in a mason jar or some kind of container and keep it in your refrigerator. So I'm going to let this come to a boil and then I'll bring it back and uh, see what it looks like. Okay guys, I had to switch over to a bigger pot. And you see it's come to a good boil. And I'm going to let it do this for about eight minutes. Okay, I have stood here for eight minutes and stirred this fudge sauce, so it better be good. Oh, it is good. Um, but it's done. Like I said, it boiled for eight constant minutes and I'm going to let it cool off and then I'm going to put it in my mason jar. Now you could even make this as a gift. Just 
put your pretty tag on it or something and give it as Christmas gift or birthday or and there it is chocolate fudge sauce Hey guys, Comments. I've got uh, my custard's cooled off good. It's been in there a couple hours. I got my frozen tub here. I'm gonna put it inside, and then I've got my little stirrer that goes inside the tub. Then you put your lid on. I've got it plugged in, and I'm gonna turn this on, so it's gonna be making a little bit of noise. I'm going to start pouring my custard into it while it's turning. Now, I was right the first time. This is a two-quart ice cream maker. And this recipe makes one quart. So you can double it, you can triple it, whatever. Once I get all this custard in here, it should take about 25 minutes for it to make ice cream. That's usually what it takes. So we're going to let this turn and we're going to let it do its thing and uh, when we come back, we'll taste it. my ice cream's done that it took about 23 minutes this custard it froze and set up really quick the things in there are good I was just going to turn this up so y'all can see my ice cream it, it, it did, it done really good it froze good so we're going to taste it buttermilk ice cream well, it looks good, don't it? Yeah. It's getting light, so I know you don't need a whole bunch. That's why I got this little cut. Yeah, it's 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's not. Not, not really. <laughs> no, it's not. We got to get up at 4.30 in the morning. So, taste it without, because I'm going to put some of this on it too. This is our homemade chocolate fudge sauce. I really, really like that. That's a totally different taste, but I don't, I can't remember, I'm trying to think what it might taste like. Tastes like custard. I mean, it's got a little bit of wine to it, but. Yeah, but not bad at all. No. I mean, I, I like buttermilk, so, but it's not, it don't really taste like buttermilk. It just got a little bit of uh, I don't know. I don't want. <laughs> you can't explain it. You think it's got too much vanilla in it? No. No. You no. like vanilla though. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Hey, right. try some of this chocolate sauce. That'll make it even. Sweeter. I know the chocolate sauce is good. I done been in it. <laughs> it is good stuff, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. So, y'all need to try buttermilk ice cream. That's a sweet chocolate and tart buttermilk. It's good, though. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. And good for you. Buttermilk's good for you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's got a lot of cultures in it. Mm -hmm. So, if y'all like this recipe, y'all try it. Um, if you do it in a regular ice cream maker, you just probably need to probably triple the recipe. Because this is just a two quart, and the recipe was just for one quart of ice cream. So, anyways, it's good. Y'all try it. 
and make the hot fudge sauce too. <laughs> it seems like a lot of work, but really it's worth it. I, it it's really not. Nice. It's just that if, when if you're you'd, ma If you'd make it up and put it in the refrigerator overnight and do it the next day, it'd be... Well, yeah, but when you're doing a video and you're trying to do so many steps, it seems like, you know, but it, it really was not... It wasn't... Not for a super cook like you, huh? Oh, yeah, right. Mmm. <laughs> Don't butter me up. I'm telling you, this is good, y'all. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to get off here. But I do, I hope y'all like this recipe, and I hope you try it. And if you don't have one of these countertop um, ice cream makers, and you're interested in maybe getting one, like I said, Amazon carries them. So, I really like mine. We use it a lot. Because Mr. Brown eats a lot of ice cream. I sure do. So, Summer, winter, fall. Thanks for sticking around with us. And uh, y'all try it out. And y'all come back and see I'm us. I'm telling you, this is, this is good stuff. Okay. But you ain't getting no more. Okay. Bye, y'all. See you later.